and honored Fritz a couple weeks ago. And yeah, yeah. Of course, Bill Colts was on a while, but just how important was it here's the, to you guys to maintain and honor the tradition that's been built here? Well, um, you know, Penn State wrestling is a, it's a special thing. It was, we knew uh, coming in here, um, that was, um, you know, one of the, the major draws was just the people and this intensity and love of the program. And, um, you know, Coach Lorenzo is uh, as good as human beings get, you know, he's just salt of the earth, hard working, you know, and he's a big, big part of the reason um, the, the program has the support that, that it has. It's just because of the, the great job he did and the relationships that he built and just the love of the sport that he, he created. Um, so yeah, you know, we want to try to um, just be able to add what little bit we can, you know, to what, what he did, obviously, uh, Fritz, Coach Sunderland, and, and everyone before him. Um, but it means a lot to us. Speaking on love of the sport, what does it also mean to you to be able to pack 12,000 fans in a stadium like the Bryce Jordan Center just to watch you guys wrestle? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's cool. We, you know, we, we enjoy getting over there. Um, it's a different energy. You know, I think our event staff did a really nice job. Um, we, we hope to wrestle well and, and entertain people and try to uh, get them to want to come back. You know, I think, uh, you know, Monday night is a really tough sell, especially the, the top, this time of the year with a snowstorm and um, day after the Super Bowl. Um, that kind of stuff. Uh, so we're we're happy with, uh, thankful that the people that showed up did, and and you know the guys. Uh, you know we knew Rutgers would be um, a scrappy match. They always are, and so uh, a lot of tough matches. And and uh, overall, our guys did fine. Wrestled well, and just moving on. Would you have a guy like Terrell who is? Been in and out of lineup the last two years. He yeah. probably wants to be in every every single duel. But when yeah. he when he can't be, but he has success like he had last night, do you, do you use that as an example for some guys that might be in a similar situation as him? Uh, well, I think he just he keeps getting better. I mean, he's been in and out of our lineup um, since he was a freshman. Yeah, wow. I mean, yeah. he's been in big matches, and he's always competed really well. He's very consistent. I mean, he prepares. For every match, you know, as if he's going to wrestle, and you know that's a pretty rare thing. I mean, his weight's always uh, right where it needs to be. He's warming up. You know, you can see that he's locked in and focused. So he's a pretty uh, special uh, individual, and uh, it's great to see him be able to go out there and, and do what he did. He's had a great year. He's had some really, really good wins. It's not a surprise to anybody in our program. I mean, he's been here and we've seen him, and he's put a lot of time in, and uh, he's put a lot of time in, as we saw yesterday. Uh, on top with with uh, Coach Cunningham and, and uh, yeah, just poised and um, yeah, we love uh, we love having him in the program. He's a, a incredibly uh, valuable piece of what we're doing. Uh, KSAC seemed to take a pretty big, big pretty big hit on the mat return there. From, yeah. Uh, so and it seemed like it was kind of his offense kind of got stalled for the rest of the match. Is there anything anything about him at all? Yeah, uh, I mean he. He, he'll be fine, but he, he was definitely concerned, um, you know, coming off the mat. And, uh, but uh, you know, our doctors saw him right away. Luckily, uh, Sebastian Ellie was there and, uh, and Dan Lovelace. Uh, you know, you don't compare people, but I mean, there's not a better trainer um, in the country. So, uh, yeah, so he, he'll be fine. I mean, but he, I think he was definitely concerned, thinking that he did something uh, more than he did, thankfully. Yeah, yeah. When, when you have a guy like Tyler kind of step up to after what happened with Shane, how yeah. soon do you guys as a staff start thinking about the implications for next year's lineup when you have maybe you didn't expect to use Tyler in a way that you did this year, but he's had some success and, and Shane yeah. will be back, I can imagine. Yeah, it's just it, it's all uh, depends on the kids, you know, if they and I think more and more now they come in and they're they're ready to go. I mean, Josh Barr was ready to go yesterday. I mean, we were trying to figure out how we were gonna um, you know, work things out just because uh, things people were sick and and uh, you know, like I said, Aaron was sick and really appreciated uh, you know him jumping in there anyways. And uh, but yeah, Bar was ready to roll, and you know, Lucas was obviously ready to go. Um, so those guys are they're 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 ready. You know, they want to wrestle, and uh, it's just uh, when that opportunity comes, I think you know it's uh, you take advantage of it, and give them that that chance. Now, if 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 they want to do it, but. I think for the most part, you know, these kids want to, they want to wrestle. And, uh, 
and Kasek made it very clear right away uh, that he was planning on starting this year, you know, and trying to find his way uh, into the lineup. Um, and that's uh, that's what it takes, you know, if you have to talk somebody into wanting to, to wrestle, it's probably not the right day, right? And, but he was 100%, you know, planning on being being the guy and competing this year. Being that you've been around wrestling for so long, does that, does that show that wrestling is now kind of becoming a, a year-round sport as opposed to just being in the winter and stuff because of the success and these guys are being ready as freshmen, true freshmen? Yeah, I, I think the sport has definitely um, evolved and uh, it's advanced to where uh, these kids are training uh, with, with high-level kids. I mean, they're in here uh, at RTC workouts at early ages as soon as they qualify, obviously, you know, KSEC. Uh, you know, spent a lot of time with uh, at M2 uh, with David Taylor's club. Um, so I think the kids are definitely uh, more prepared, uh, and, and just it's you know they're they're ready to go. I mean, generally, however many years ago, you know, high school kids have no exposure to college age training partners, uh, coaching, uh, let alone the, the NLWC that they're spending time with. So yeah, I think things have changed a little bit. I don't know as far as sports are concerned. You know, I'm still I still wouldn't like just choose one sport and go with it until as late as I possibly could. I think it kind of um, maybe limits your, your overall uh, highest peaks. Um, based on your approach, obviously, it's just unique uh, with, with each kid and each family. But, um, but yeah, you're seeing a lot uh, where right away, you know, kids are trying to specialize in one sport. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm an advocate for that in any way, but, um, but they're, they're definitely uh, ready to go. I think they could be ready Playing other sports, but at the same time, but uh, you definitely have to have uh, the best training partners and, and coaches you can find. When you look at sorry, when you look at Sunday, I mean, uh, matchups it could be your yeah. probably toughest match of the year. You know, what do you see when you look at Nebraska? Well, I think Nebraska is. I mean, there a lot of these Big Ten teams have all been very similar. I mean, we just have to go be ourselves and, and wrestle and you know, score those tough points and win tough matches. It's, yeah, they do have a really good team, you know. And, um, they always do. I mean, Nebraska's always a, a really tough team. Um, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, so we're, we're looking forward to that match. I mean, I think, uh, you know, it, it's not like a surprise or anything, you know, looking at them coming into the season and what they've done. Uh, for as long as I've been involved in college wrestling, they're always one of the top programs, yeah. Coach, what's impressed you the most about Lucas Cochran at this point in the season, especially with the fact that he's wrestling up the heavyweight, yeah. he's got two dual main wins in the past month, and how, how does he game plan for something like that? Because it's not like he's going from 74 to 84, he's going from 97 to heavyweight, yeah. giving up dozens of pounds. Yeah, uh, I, I think Lucas is really good. I think he's, and he's, I think he's even figuring out just you know how, how good he is and uh, he wrestled in a couple open tournaments uh, in the last month I'd say and, and really went out there to wrestle to dominate and um, you know that's kind of what it takes um, great athlete as you can tell um, good feel really good technique and uh, he's gotten really good with his hand fighting was able to control a larger opponent and, and kind of dictate the pace um, so more than anything I'm, I'm just excited for the confidence boost for him just because uh, you know we've known uh, he's really good and he's got a lot of potential and he's just getting better and uh but yeah that was a great opportunity i'm super happy for him to be able to get out there and um wrestle in that match and uh and we, we would have been confident had we thrown him in there at 97 too you know just because he's uh, obviously he's he's really tough but uh, the more experience for him the better is he regularly wrestling a lot bigger guys in the room to, to get that feel to be prepared for that or can uh, you not do that a whole lot yeah, it's tough to do that. I mean, it's still a lot of his technique. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. technique uh, will uh, will beat some beat strength in a lot of ways. But I mean, technique and strength. I mean, that's a better combination. But in size. But but yeah, his uh, his technique's very good. Uh, we don't have a lot of really big guys in the yeah. room. You know, I mean, um, but uh, but he he wrestles with big, small. He, you know, he's one of those guys that can kind of go with anybody. He spent some time uh, this year with Greg, which has been good. I mean, Greg's just a, you know, a different animal altogether. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, the more time he spends up there, I mean, I think he has that option. I mean, he's obviously a 97 pounder. I mean, he's thinking about going down to 84, I think recently. Um, but he, he's, he, he's got that body type where he could go any weight. Like, 
season really well. We know you guys have a process that leads up to the postseason, making sure these guys are peaking at the right time. Yeah. Did it have to change at all this year with the stretch of matches that you guys have had now with Ohio State and then Iowa and then Nebraska? You know, if you don't have this quote unquote easy routine, like I yeah. said, the Big Ten. Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, you just kind of go with the flow and whatever schedule you get, you just have to adjust and just kind of get to know your kids and student athletes enough that you can make adjustments for them. Um, but yeah, when you have, you know, some of the best teams just back to back to back to back, um, I think it's a great challenge for our kids and it's something that uh, they, I think they get excited for. And, and, uh, and uh, we'll see, you know, I mean, we're, every year is unique, everything's different. and. And you know, we have a, a history of really wrestling great in those big moments, but it's still every individual's choice to, to go do that. You know, it's up to them. You know, they're the ones that have to go out there and get to go out there and score the points and to, to go attack their goals. So you know, we're just here uh, really to support them and give them our best uh, advice and train them up the way that uh, we feel is in their best interest. But ultimately, it's up to them. You know, I mean, they're, they're still kids. And, and uh, so, you know, I think we'll, we're gonna have a, a fun postseason, but in you know, sports, you know, anything can happen. So you gotta go, you gotta go make things happen. Coach, how do you fend off complacency? Milestones, winning streaks, all these different things. Hey, yeah. People can fall into the trap of like, hey, this is enough. We've reached the mountaintop and kind of let off the gas for yourself personally, and to you know keep the team moving forward and the individual wrestlers. Just how do you fend off that kind of mindset that can subtly creep in? When it's like you know, well, we've accomplished so much. When is enough enough? Yeah, I mean that's uh, that's the big challenge in life, I guess. Right? Is uh, I mean you see the pattern and the ups and the downs and. And uh, when pressure's on, and when it's off, or when you're, you know, and I, I think for for me personally, I don't have any problem with that because I don't focus on those things. I'm not worried about. Uh, of course, I hate losing. You know, I want to be the best team. I want to think that our best teams are always coming. You know, as a coach and as a program. Um, but I'm thinking more about performance. You know, I'm not looking back at these matches like, oh well, we won this one by a point. That's great. This. I mean, we're looking at like, how can our kids get better? You know, how can we. Um, get their minds to where they can wrestle a little bit more freely or whatever you know we're not we're not worried about um, the wins and the losses as much as we are just about which I, I, I just think that's a higher standard you know it's and and you, you, you can avoid those the ups and the downs um, that you, you you're gonna get if you're if you're thinking about and judging your success off of wins and losses right there's a higher there's a higher standard and uh, that's what we try to focus on I know that's what we focus on as a staff you know we're just Consistent, you know, whether we win the nationals or not, we'll be in here Monday uh, at 1 30 at the NLWC. So, um, but certainly it's a heck of a lot more fun to win. So, uh, anything we can do to do that, we'll make that, make, yeah, we'll do the work. Cool. All right. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, guys.